Hey, welcome back to Creek Rise. So it is officially muzzleload season right now. It's been five weeks of bow season here in Central Florida. We now switch into two weeks of muzzleloader. So I mostly like to bow hunt, but I really love when opening day of muzzleloader comes or opening day of rifle comes to use my muzzleloader or my rifle just to, for the practice and the fun of it. So this is a CVA Acura muzzleloader. And uh, it's an inline muzzleloader, so different than Daniel Boone, who had to pour powder in, put a wad in, jam it all down, put a ball in, a piece of lead in, jam it down, and then have a fairly inaccurate, fairly close shot. This is a little bit different. My gunpowder looks a little, a little different. I used white hots, 50 grain white hots. So I'll put three of these little guys in there. And then from a bullet perspective, I've got these 50 cal bullets that I use. And then I've got my 209 primers. The primer is right here in the breech. Uh, I won't put it in until after I'm sitting in the stand. It's still morning, it's about 5.50. I need to get going in a few minutes. Um, but once I'm settled in, I'll put the primer in and then close it up and I'm ready to go. So with the muzzleloader, you have one shot. So you gotta make it work. These are much more accurate than they were in the past. Let me go ahead and load this sucker up. So it's pretty basic. You've got the three powders that go in. And again, they're pelletized. And then my slug. So I can't push it in further than that. And that's where the ramrod comes in. All right, so we got the pellets down there. I got my bullet here, get my ramrod. I want to be safe with this, keep this away from pointing at me, obviously, or anything I don't want to destroy. And uh, get that all the way down in there. Okay, now we're all loaded up. Let's go get that buck. I'll see you in a box blind. Hey guys, so it's 11 o'clock. I didn't see any deer over on my side of the property. Found out why. Charles is hunting a low bottom, country Charles, right next to the prairie. And he said my target buck was chasing a doe and there were two other smaller bucks in there mixing around. Uh, he never got a shot on any of them. He's hunting a muzzler with, with uh, uh, fixed sights, not a, not a scope, and he just couldn't get on it. And um, so I'm gonna, uh, he's back at his house now. And I'm gonna go see if I can't slip down that, in those flats and see if I see him. Wish me luck. So I've got two cameras. They're out here, so on the way in, I'm gonna check those, see if there was any activity on those, see if I can see if they've moved through since then. He said uh, he saw them running in there at about 9 a.m. And uh, so if, if he hasn't locked her down yet, she'll still be trying to scooch away and make a noise. This is fun. I have um, two 
videos of two does walking through the middle of the food plot and then peeing. And then, and that was maybe, maybe this morning. I didn't look at it. I didn't look at the dates for what. But then I have three bucks that went right through here, all within the last 15 minutes. So 10.59, Charles told me at, he was telling me at 10.45, hey, there was a buck run. So I'm up in the tree, I don't have anything to hold the camera, so hopefully if I see something, I get a shot, I'll get it on film. But it's on, brother. This is cool. Bucks running everywhere. Bunch of crazy teenagers. It's a red light district right now. A red light district. Alright, see you in a bit. Okay, I sat there for an hour and a half and didn't see anything else walking in here. Cheers, brother. Cheers. There you go. Hey guys, so um, it's the afternoon. We just actually uh, cleared some limbs uh, down in the driveway and we wanted to stay away from where all the rut activity was this morning, but it uh, sounded like he had a great time. I went to a stand on, on my side and he saw at least you saw several bucks three yep. a couple yep. bucks right yep running chasing yep yeah we had a real nice tall six pointer and uh which i thought was your target that target eight yeah yeah because it was so tall but uh it turned out to be a six pointer so we got another one in here nice and uh had a nice sp a spike running around after it and uh yeah they were really active really active this morning and when you were down in the bot you were down in the in the palmettos right near the prairie yeah i was i was in the oak hammock that was uh bordering the prairie and uh yeah they were really liking it they they were feeling comfortable <laughs> that's good that's good well we're gonna um we're gonna kind of divide and conquer a little bit today so you're going back in that spot right and uh hopefully we hear a, a, a big boom from there and then i'm gonna hunt over the feeder because you think they were going to the feeder um or at least or at least kind of coming and going from there right uh, maybe that this morning yeah it was a pretty good route for them yeah, yeah good cover where they can kind of go in and feed and come back out in bed and, yeah you know, like so after charles told me um so he's texting me saying dude they're running everywhere and i'm like i haven't seen anything and i came back here and i was actually in shorts and i changed real quick and uh, and that's when i went out and i saw um i just checked the, the camera card down at the on the um power line where okay. the little food plot is and uh, where that tall stand is and i checked that card first and sure enough 10 minutes before i was there and 25 minutes before i was there two bucks a really nice wide six wow it doesn't sound like the the narrow six yeah. and then another smaller six is just a little basket rack guy okay so they're running around well, that's four bucks this morning that's what they're running around wow so <laughs> anyway so it's about 3 30 and we're gonna uh we just figured we'd uh, stop have a cold pop and uh, uh get ready for the afternoon so hopefully you'll see um i'd love to show you uh, one that charles country charles gets down um but a double would be pretty good too that yeah, would be sweet It'd be sweet <laughs> sweet gotta look high expectations that's right that's right we'll see you up in the perch <laughs> 